Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Are you? I was born ready. Okay. <laughs> the hell? Scotch lovers out there, welcome to Simple Diversion. My name's welcome. Graham. My name's Rob. And today we're talking about Highland Park 12 Year. Ooh, the 12 Year. This is some of my favorite whiskey. It's good stuff. Ever. Excited to try it with you, Rob. Mm. You have had it before, correct? I have had it before, yep. You're not gonna pop my cherry this time. Mm. <laughs> we are gonna talk a little bit about Highland Park, about so the, the history itself. Yep, yep. And then after this video, we're gonna give you guys a 15 year and we're gonna compare the 12 and the 15, see which one we like better. Awesome time's coming. Highland Park was actually founded in 1798, and it is not named after the region, the Highlands, Highlands but it's actually found, it is actually named after the area that it was founded at, and that's High Park. High Park. And I believe they were at a lower level when they, they named really? it High Park. I did not know that's that. why you call it High Park, right? Because yeah. it's higher than what you're at. So Highland Park actually produces single malt whiskeys, and some interesting facts about them is they actually use 100% their own barley. They don't bring it in from anywhere. <laughs> and then their water source is actually from a spring nearby, and it, it's really hard water. Oh, wow. Most other distilleries, you know, they have um, a water supply nearby and it's gonna be soft water, and that's mm -hmm. typically what's used for, for making a single malt wow, whiskey. It almost makes me wonder, are they onto something with the hard water? Well, I don't know, because I, I love Maybe. it. Maybe. Really interesting. The distillery is located on the distant Orkney Islands. It is off the northeast coast of Scottish mainland. The distillery is the most northerly distillery in Scotland. Half a mile farther north than Scapa Distillery. So Rob, the peat is what makes this scotch very interesting. It's an Orcadian peat, predominantly compressed of herbaceous plants and heather. It's not like the southernmost part where there's a lot of trees um, mm -hmm. and they get their peat from tree uh, matter and then seaweed. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah, it is. And it's a different flavor. Yeah. The 12 year came out in the 1980s and is going strong. So the 1980s, but Highland Park was founded in 1798, so it took them almost 200 years, huh? Yep. Well, so what did they have before then? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't tell you. Let's give it a pour. What do you think of the bottle? It's a nice bottle. Interesting shape and size. It does have an very interesting old school shape. It does have the establish. Uh, it was established in 1798 right there. Almost the I like age. the colors. The black and the orange. The age it almost of, looks like the Superman. Yeah, I was going to say, if you turn it on the side, it looks like the Superman we logo. Could use, we could all use a little bit of hope. We, <laughs> we need hope. We need hope. Fill the whole glass up. I'm terrible at pouring. <laughs> Just like okay, so like, like that the video, <laughs> like the video we did before. <laughs> yeah, you know we got to do our, our sniff test. That's right. But first, appearance. Yep. Golden amber. Now Golden Highland Park Golden does amber. not use any additives either in the coloring, so this is all natural. This is from yep. the casks and the distillery process. Like you've said before, it's got some nice legs. That's right. I love this stuff. Mm. This is some of my favorite, and it's definitely getting the nose from the glass, and then we did with the bottle. Yes, and I think part of the reason why I really like Highland Park 12 Year is the distinct nosing. It's so different it than anything it else that I've tried. I get a lot of seaweed in mine, seaweed, huh? with a little bit of of smoky peat, not much. What do you What do you mean by seaweed? Is it more like a just like the the, the smell of like a yeah like the ocean? I'm getting I'm getting like that salt water. Yep. Yeah, like that ocean, not just salt water, but like the ocean water. Yeah, seaweed, salt water, kind of the same like stuff. Like in the air that you smell when you're at the beach. But a little bit of floral notes too. Yeah, definitely. Sweet. It is and, sweet. And, and it's then, got some of that sugar from. Before. And even a, a little bit of citrus, a just bit, a little yeah. bit. I can't wait. Mm. So far, I it's like it. Gently smoky. But surprisingly sweet. Gross. Man. That's good. That is so good. That's really good. Now you know why I would pick this over mm. our last video was the feathery. That's good. Like this is just like for the same price. That is the same price. Yeah, and yeah. sometimes, sometimes it's cheaper. Feathery is 40. 
No, feathery is about 50 to 60. This is gonna be 45 to 50. Oh, there you go. I, again, I like them both. I mean, the feathery like both, is really but good, but the Highland Park 12 year, I mean, it's been a while since I've had it. It, it is good. Definitely getting a, you know, a mixture of peat, but it's not gonna be like a Lagavulin or a Laphroaig or Ardbeg, Ardbeg where it's yeah. just overpowering it's not overpowering, peat. I'm getting a lot of sweet with it. Mm -hmm. I am getting a little caramel, but not much. Yeah, almost like a, like that burnt caramel. Yeah, like a burnt caramel, right. Uh, peanut brittle, almost. Yeah. So Rob, what do you think? I love it. One to 10, we're gonna do our yeah. rating system. Yeah, let's do one to 10. I would, I gave the feathery a 9.1. I would probably give this a 9.2. Okay. I like it just a tad bit better. It's not my favorite, but it's it's definitely up there. It's always so hard for me to rank because like, it is. like we've talked about, like I'm trying to compare it to Lagavulin where I gave it 9.5. And like right now, I feel like I want this more than I want Lagavulin, but then when I go have Lagavulin, yeah. I feel like I'm in the mood for that, you know? Right, So, but but what, what are you in the mood for now? So how are you feeling now? I would give it a, in factoring price point and everything, I would give it a 9.6. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Okay. So I, I think it's safe to say we would both purchase this again. Yeah. And this is, Highland Park 12 year always has a home in my liquor cabinet, so. You know, I pretty much always have it on hand. I'm I'm growing more and more into liking it. So mm -hmm. yeah, we're we're learning as we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And you know, now that my palate has matured a lot since you know when I first started drinking, I'm 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 gaining more of a of a peaty flavor. I'm starting to like more and more. I still am more of a sherry guy, but you know this is, peat's coming along. And I think this is a perfect blend of just a, a hint of peat. But then you get some of the sweetness, a little citrus. I think we're gonna find that in the 15 and the 18, we're gonna get more yeah. citrus. It's great for anybody and everybody. It's got a, a little something for anybody that loves to drink some scotch. Yeah, it's very good. If you can, Highland Park 12 year, it's a winner in our book. Definitely. Go out and get some, tell us what you think. Please remember to like and subscribe. And um, we will have the Highland Park 15 coming up for you guys really soon. Coming right up. And don't forget to look back at our video from before, how to drink scotch. Yeah. Because you need to know how to drink scotch if you're going to drink scotch. Especially if you're going to drink Highland Park. You got to yeah. know what you're doing. Yeah. Respect it. Respect, Respect the scotch. Respect the Highland Park, people. Highland Park. <laughs> <laughs> we should have a, a saying when we do cheers. Okay. Instead of saying cheers, it should be like... Diversion. Or... <laughs> Like a chant, like rah, rah. or you know, you know something. Or you go hoo hoo, I go hee ha. Mm. Fun doing, <laughs> fun doing. That's fun doing. I, I like the schmiel, the schmielius, German or something. Yeah, fun. All right, guys, thank you for stopping by. We appreciate it, and as always, see you soon.